Welcome back, Keepers of the Flame. I'm going to do a Capricorn reading right now. I'm, I got my little mm, here for later on today to thank all you current subscribers and the ones that come after as well. But um, we're just going to put together a little um, <clears throat> today. So something to help you through the season, right? A little something, something. Um, super easy, two ingredients, not a big egg, right? I'll go through it when we get to that video. But for right now, what does Capricorn need to know about frequencies, energies, and vibration when it comes to the universe? What does Capricorn need to know? What does Capricorn need to know about frequencies, energies, and vibrations coming in? How can they trans? Plate those better in their lives on a daily basis. Let's show Capricorn how to do this. Strength. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Strength. I'm going to try to do this so you can see it. I don't have everything here yet. And I'm not in my office today because I'm trying to stage this while we're working today. Working double time. Okay. So, what else is Capricorn here to Ooh. Okay. What else Capricorn need to know in the universe? I'm just going to keep pulling until they tell me it's done. What else does Capricorn need to know about frequency, energy, vibration, and time of the universe? I'm getting bottom of the deck. We have that one first. Not space. This. Ooh, okay. One. Man, if you aren't the freaking like eighth person, <laughs> nine of swords. Okay. Oh, definitely first. Okay. Okay, I got you. All right. Sorry, I didn't realize that that's. I wonder if I. Hold on, Cappy. We're gonna go for a little ride, okay? Hold still, hold steady. Steady, steady, steady. steady. You good? Wow, ah, where did it work? Okay. Okay, now I have enough room for the cards. So you got the King of Pentacles here upright. Who the heck else? Aquarius. Man, oh man. People are figuring out what their values are this year. Like nobody's business. Okay, so my new year typically starts after Halloween. So when I say new year, I mean just, just mine. But in the, in the coming year is what I feel like. This is not a yearly reading. I don't have the capacity to do that at this point. I'm still trying to figure out how they do it because it's freaking magical and I'm working on it, but I'm not there yet. So right now we're just going to do right here, right now, what Cappy needs to know. Okay. So you're standing in your power and strength here, right? You're petting your little lion and being like, yeah, mm-hmm. He could bite my hand, but I know he's not gonna. Or she. Yeah, that's a he. Manus. So the Knight of Pentacles. You're moving, but it's really slow, but you're... The reason why is because you are carrying this energy. You don't need to be in a hurry. You got everything you need. Nothing needs to, nothing. You are keeping that freaking safe, protected, loved, supported. Boom. However, your, your mental relaxation is not being allowed right now because I'm getting a little bit of self-deception. And maybe that's why you're hesitating up here. You can't find that, like, you're upset in your mental energy. Is this... You do have the Knight of Swords over here, though, in the final outcome. So you will, you will upright this energy. And maybe it could be either you're lying to yourself or someone lied to you in the past. And now, I find this so often, you keep that lie. Right? And you believe that lie to be true for yourself. 
but oftentimes it's not. Value systems, right? Okay. Yeah, I'm getting like the mental unrest is because you're keeping, you're holding, your Knight of Pentacles is moving slow here, right? Slow energy, but you're standing in power here. You're, you've got the Empress for Pete's sakes. So you're right on target, but you found a, a, like a mental glitch, like a glitch in the matrix, if you will. You found a glitch in your own matrix and you're like, where is this coming from? Why is this not, why am I mentally upset about this thing? Why is this coming in in such a harsh and cruel way? And I don't, I'm going to have to clarify because I don't know what that is for you, Cappy. Only I'm, I'm not good at associating stuff that well. I'm trying to get into like people, places and things. But right now the mental upset seems to be coming from someplace I don't think you put this lie here is what I'm getting because you don't come from a place of strength, a place of stability and a place of complete and utter sovereignty and authenticity and then be like, I'm just going to lie to myself about this. That's not how that works. I think you found something that's causing mental upsetness and it's just like some sort of programming that you need to undo from your matrix. If that makes any sense. Okay. Because then you've got the king of values. Values. You're assessing what your values are. Trying to come to terms with everything. Okay. So I read cards a little bit different. Um, so when it comes to pentacles, I don't just see. It can mean physical. It can mean some sort of lie that you've been told about money or prosperity or abundance that needs to get gone. Okay. Okay. But I'm, those are values. Money and our abundance are things we can still value, right? So when it comes to what we hold sacred and true in our own beings for ourselves, it's going to look much different than the next person. Like, you know, I don't want to state some famous person because, no. So somebody who has only money on the mind, right? They're only geared toward money, right? That's their only goal in life and they're trying to find their niche and they're trying to find where the market needs something and whatever else and they're going to fulfill it. There's nothing necessarily wrong with that because sometimes if there's a need in the market that's not being fulfilled and they fulfill it, that's probably a good thing, right? And sometimes, you know, that need really isn't a need. They just convince you it's a need. So it has two sides of the same coin, okay? Two sides of the same coin. So coming from a place of understanding that whatever it is you're valuing is okay, but there's something that's not working in your value system right now. You're holding eggs right now, and you're thinking they're going to hatch, and they're not going to hatch. They're not coming to fruition, and you're like, where the heck, how the heck, why the... So, reassessing that. What, what to keep in value, what to let go of and release. And I'm getting you doing that here. Just, it's going to... So, on this Knight of Swords here, there's a lady wearing a dress. Okay. I don't know if you can read that or not. Now with the glare, lady. It's backwards anyway. Thanks, YouTube. Okay. Right is worth the cost is what it says. Okay. So maybe this thing is going to cost you some pentacles. But see how she's like taking it out from inside of her? So this is why I'm getting you're going to have to take an inner value system and release it and let it go. Because it's going to, until, it's going to make you lose sleep until you set that value free. And you don't hold it any longer. And this may mean, I don't know, you got to pay somebody back. Or it just might mean that you have to drop a value system that you thought was serving you. But it's throwing off your mental energy here. Death in reverse. And the king of pentacles.
Attack only and in reverse. Don't put this off, Cappy. Don't put it off. I don't know. I'm going to need clarification on that before I might go. I'm getting it's still going to happen. So if you don't accept it, the universe will push it on you and it's not going to be pretty. Just saying. Okay. We don't, we don't see that too often in the news unless somebody does something like that. So let's get some clarification here for Capricorn. Can you tell me more about the Four of Swords and the Seven of Swords, please? Tell me more about the Four of Swords and the Seven of Swords in reverse. Okay, Judgment in reverse, Devil upright, the Star in reverse, the Knight of Swords. Yeah, okay, so you didn't use discernment when you stepped into this or when you were moving forward you didn't use discernment so something is hanging on and you're trying to fill the void but it's actually filling that void instead of looking at it is killing in the dream it's killing whatever peace you have yeah you got to cut it out you got to cut whatever mental energy this is. You got to cut it off. And I don't know if that means you drop the dream itself and start a new one. Or if you find whatever connection that you're missing. So in my playlist, there's the, the reason why I see the devil card the way I see the devil card. So instead of seeing this as some sort of being outside of yourself that invites you into something bad this is just you having to look at where your void is where you're not finding fulfillment which is usually with human connection okay because you're you're in a state right now where you're going to give birth to some sort of legacy it could be a child definitely but you're she's got a crown in her hand so she's going to give birth to something that she's going to leave behind as a legacy. When I say she, I'm referring to energy. So so you're, you're getting nervous about bringing this to fruition and it's terrifying you because you, I think you you're now starting to realize that you miss something in the value system. Like, I feel like you started a major, major life adventure and you, you just, you were programmed from previous whatevers and now you're like, oh, this is not working because I did not bring this to it because I thought I had it all in order. And now this is beginning to be a temptation. Okay. And now you feel like you have to give up on your dreams. And that's not the case. That's not the case. You just need to... You just need to cut it out. Just cut that belief out and replace it with something that is going to work into your dreams without stepping into this temptation to just keep going no matter what. Because your, your understanding here of the situation that's bothering you on the mental plain it's coming to fruition you are gaining mental clarity about it okay and you do need to go forward and cut whatever that is out and replace it with something else so if there's a lack of connection there's a lack of humanity there's a lack of understanding that whatever that this is that you're starting these people need to be honored the people in your presence need to be honored So this is going to not allow you to sleep so well until you get it right. Okay. You got the Knight of Swords again over here in the upright. So you're fixing it, but you still have a lot of eyes on you right here. You still have a lot of people going, are you going to do the right thing? 
And that that causes mental anxiety as is. I hear you. So when we take the highest good of all is usually going to bring the best outcome. So what's best for you is going to be what's best for this situation, this business endeavor, this life situation maybe it is forming a family maybe it is giving birth but i feel like this is more business orientated because i don't see a lot of there's no cups here kathy you forgot your heart your heart's not in it your heart's not here so when you don't bring your your heart to a situation you are going to be mentally disturbed that's just we think we can separate those two things and be completely in the mental space and not worry about the heart scenario. That's not necessarily true. Okay, you do have the Empress here, but I think she's asking you to come back and collect your heart's space. Otherwise, it's gonna cause mental upset. When we ignore our feelings and emotions, it usually does cause a lot of mental upset. But it's not going to die just yet. So I think what's going to happen, it's just going to be slow and gradual. And you're going to come out on top. But we got to clarify. How we, how's Cappy going to get rid of this Nine of Swords energy? How does Cappy move through that? What's the best way for Cappy to move through the Nine of Swords and the Death in Reverse? Half the deck, maybe? Okay, three. Ace of Wands, six of Wands, three of Swords. Okay, so getting clarity on your heartbreak while moving forward into a spotlight. Because there's a desire here to keep going in the same direction without addressing this mental situation. Again, no cups, Cappy. Where's your cups? Where's your heart space? No cups here. You are going to gain some mental clarity from the heartbreak. But again, you, you don't have any love for this situation. You don't have any love for this thing. You want to nurture it. You want to help it grow. Yes, there might be some love here, but it's not surrounding this precious thing that you have going here. So, Cappy, what's on the Page of Cups in reverse. You won't even accept a message of love? What the heck, Capricorn? Here we go again. Page of Cups in reverse. Nine of Wands, healing, Empress in reverse. Eight of Swords in reverse. King of Pentacles in reverse. Five of Swords. Okay, Capricorn. So somewhere over here in this energy, you need to reassess completely what the heck you're doing. And then pull out from the value system that you're pulling from and reassess it completely to avoid this. You need to reassess because there's no hearts here. You're any, yep, lovers reverse. Okay. Now that doesn't mean, that doesn't have to mean a romantic relationship. It doesn't have to. You can be pairing with yourself. You can be becoming your own best friend and having your own best interests. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. Don't let anybody tell you, oh, in order to be a productive human being, you need to like get with somebody and procreate. Oh, don't even get me started. You don't need to do that here, Cappy, but you do need to pay attention to your heart space. Where is it at? What do you really want? What fills you up? What brings you joy? I get there's something here you really like and you... You're passionate about it. It's everything you've ever wanted. But if you're not going to put your heart into it, what's the point? Because your empress is going to be in reverse if you continue on the same path. Cappy, you can do better. Freaking smartest creature. You'll be able to sit with that and freaking... So I get the need for, because right now with the, 
complete national situation we got going on. I understand that it's it's imperative that you keep your your coinage safe and you keep your dreams alive and whatever else. I I'm not arguing that at all. There's no shame in that. Nothing. But if your heart's not in it, it will eventually fail. So if, and I know there's a bunch of contradictory things. But all these other billionaires made it, and yada, yada, yada. We have to understand the difference between the truth and illusion, right? Understanding that, like, just because something is televised and it's put on Instagram and Facebook and wherever else, YouTube, doesn't always make it the case. It does not always make it the case. Okay, so just because you're being sold a facade doesn't mean you have to buy into it. And that might be something you need to reassess. Like, do you want to build a happy, healthy, sustainable way of life? Or do you want to feed into a narrative that you're being sold to keep you stuck in a hole? I think you've got a lot of power behind you right now. You've got a lot of freaking good stuff going for you, Capricorn. A freaking lot. This is a lot of power. You've got two King of Pentacles. you got the Empress. You've got the Strength card here. You've got beasts backing you up. You know, you know, you already know that Ray is worth the cost. You already know that. Bring your heart up through it. Bring your heart up, your heart space. That is the golden ticket and nobody will tell you that. And I get that everybody's gonna say, you know, it doesn't matter how much you love something. If you don't find a niche, if you don't find a whatever. But at the end of the day, if you're doing what you love, this is not allowed to happen. This will never happen if you're doing what you love. Period. The end. Okay. I brought my herbal trail deck out. The foods, the food deck. I don't know why the food deck called to me, but this is all about foods and flowers and whatnot. Is Capricorn going to be held by a card from this deck? Do we need to go get a different deck? What's going on? What's the heck? Ooh. Okay. Capricorn's definitely going to benefit. Okay. So. We have memory. We have vitality. And we have luck. This is the Green Witch Oracle, it's called. 16 is the first number. That's a good number. <laughs> Memory, Rosemary. When the world wearies and society fails to satisfy, there is always the garden. Deeper levels of connection with people, concepts, and plans are all areas that Rosemary works with. You are reminded to ensure that you are in touch with your inner wisdom, paying heed to the past, and have cleared what needs to be released. Listen to your intuition as it is calling you at the present, but be wary of gossip or becoming tactless or too forceful. Rosemary is a perennial shrub that can be planted from late autumn to late winter in the tropics, from early spring through late autumn in temperature zones and, and temperate zones, and mid-spring to early autumn in colder places, planting garden beds or containers in moist but free-draining soil. Although rare, rosemary will grow in semi-shade, it usually does better in full sun. Harvest leaves as required. Magical correspondences are the mind, cleansing, consider consecration, psychic development, and lust. Deities are elves, Virgin Mary, Hecate, Helios, and sea spirits, and the celestial 
body is the sun and the astrological sign is Leo. So memory spell. Rosemary can easily be used as a smudge stick to cleanse the mind and areas. Gather a bunch of rosemaries and natural string or yarn. Trim to an even length as many sprigs as you feel will create the smudge stick of the size and appearance you want. Wrap the cut end of the stems a few times with the string and then tie to a secure then tie to secure and then tightly in a crisscross fashion to the end of the tie off. Hang in cool, moist, free place until dry. I don't know what your weather's like, but if you put it in a hot vehicle in a paper bag rather than like in the oven or someplace, they come out like perfect. So, um, yeah, again, cards don't lie, Kathy, cards never lie. Thirty two for vitality. Okay. Plants give us oxygen for the lungs and for the soul. Figs will show you that you can and should look what you have and what is going on in new, with new eyes. Every single day gives us all the chance of a fresh beginning, but you will need to jump up and work for it. New life experiences are on offer and charity will shine upon opportunities as well. Someone may be about to protect, be about to bring trouble into your sphere, so make sure you protect yourself. Okay, magical correspondence are divination, fertility, love, safe travel, and longevity. Deities are Isis, Dionysus, Juno, and Asperus, along with Bacchus. Celestial body is Jupiter, and the astrological sign is Taurus. The vitality spell, be like Bacchus, and consume figs in, their delicious mag in a delicious magical smoothie for a boost. This recipe will work best if you share it. Place six fresh fig, fresh sliced figs, one banana, one cup of Greek yogurt, a half a cup of milk, and honey to taste in a blender and mix until smooth. Pour into two red cups or glasses and toast with each other's vitality. Lime. Many things grow in the garden that were never sown there. You may find you are right in the middle of a situation at present or that something is stuck in circles, and this could be caused by overreactions or too much interference. It is time to let things progress at their own pace. Limes bring luck with them. So take a chance and be ready for the ups and downs this energy brings, but know that time is on your side. Don't overplan and be open to letting complexities unravel on their own. Magical correspondences are awareness, harmony, inspiration, anxiety, and protection. Deities are Dewey, Siri, and Hino, 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 Wille, and Juno. Sorry if I butchered that. Well, I know I butchered that. Um, the celestial sign is the sun, and the astrological sign is Capricorn. The luck spell. If you have had bad luck, get rid of it with this burial spell. Insert pins and needles all over a fresh line while you speak aloud the, of the bad luck moments you've had. Cover the line by winding black ribbon around it and say, And now you are bound, bad luck of mine. Be gone forever with this line. Bury it deeply somewhere away from your home. You don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to. But you can if you want. Okay, because so I think this is going to play out in a way that's going to be the best for you. Just have faith that it's going to be in the highest good of all, and it will be. It will be. Okay, Cappy? Take a deep breath. Breathe. Get some rosemary, even in your food, in your diet, in your environment. Look at the rosemary. Um... Figs are delicious, even just on their own. They don't have to be put in a shake. You can slice them up. Fresh figs. Okay. 
You don't even have to get the dried ones. The fresh ones are amazing. If you can't get fresh ones, get the dried one. Not a big gig. Okay. You keep the flame and I'll see you later for a lovely little festival of peeling garlic. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Keep the flame. I'll see you later.